In this particular problem, we have three vectors, a vector, b vector, and c vector. And we need to determine the value of vector a added to vector b. For this, we are going to add the components along each particular direction. For instance, 2i cap will get added to 2i cap j cap will get added to 2j cap and since we have only a single negative 2k cap so that will remain as it is and finally we should get 4i cap plus 3j cap minus 2k cap problem number two here we need to find b vector minus c vector so b vector will be 2i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap minus of 2j cap plus 2k cap so let's get rid of the parentheses so we have 2i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap minus 2j cap minus 2k cap now what we will do we'll combine the individual components there is only a single i cap vector so we have 2i cap plus 2j cap minus 2j cap minus 2k cap minus 2k cap and finally we get 2i cap minus 4k cap here the j cap component has cancelled out Problem number 3. Here we have to find 3 times the vector C. So simply multiplying a scalar 3 to each of the scalar components of vector C. So that should give us 6J cap plus 6K cap. Problem number 4. We need to find the magnitude of vector B. For this what we'll do. We'll take each individual components. Square it and then add it to each other and take the square root. So that means we have square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 2 squared. So that should give us square root of 3 times 4 which is 2 times square root of 3 problem number 5 here we need to find out the unit vector b so b the unit vector b is defined as the vector b divided by its magnitude so for vector b we have 2i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap so that will get divided by the magnitude which we have already determined in the previous problem so that is 2 the times square root of 3 so finally we get 1 over square root of 3 so let's take it as a common factor and multiply it to y i cap plus j cap minus k cap problem number six we need to find out the scalar product of a and b so a vector dot b vector will be 2i cap plus j cap dotted with 2i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap so what we have to do is we simply take each of the component of i cap j cap and k cap and multiply them with each other so that means 2i cap will get multiplied to 2i cap of b vector added to the j component of a vector get multiplied to the j component of b vector and since there is no k component in a vector so we so we are going to leave it so now we have 2 times 2 is 4 multiplied to i cap dot i cap plus 1 times 2 is 2 that will get multiplied to j cap dot j cap and this will be simply 4 plus 2 equals to 6 what we have done we have used the fact that a unit vector multiplied to itself is 1 and unit vector i cap dotted with j cap gives us 0 or z j cap got k cap equals to 0 so we need to find out the angle between vector a and b so we use the definition of the scalar product a dot b is given by the magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cosine of theta so cosine of theta will be a vector dot b vector divided by modulus of a times modulus of b so the absolute value of vector a will be simply square root of 2 squared plus i squared which is square root of 5 and absolute value of b the magnitude of b was already obtained in problem number 4 that is 2 times square root of 3 and the dot product a vector dot b vector is 6 which was obtained from problem number 6 let's substitute this value and that should give us cosine of theta is equals to 6 over 2 times square root of 15 since we have to find out the angle theta so that will be cosine inverse of 6 over 2 times square root of 15 which gives us the value 39.23 degrees problem number 8 we need to determine the value of the cross product a cross b so a vector cross b vector will be simply the determinant of i cap j cap k cap written in the first row in the second row we have the components of vector a which will be 2 1 0 written in the order i cap j cap k cap and in the third row we have vector b which is 2 2 negative 2 now this is simply when we expand the determinant along the first row we have i cap multiplied to the determinant 
1, 0, 2, negative 2. Negative j cap with the determinant 2, 0, 2, negative 2, plus k cap with the determinant 2, 1, 2, 2. So when we solve this, we get negative 2y cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap. Problem number 9. Here we need to find out the unit vector normal to a vector cross b vector. So we have already found out in the previous problem, a cross b is simply negative 2y cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap. Let this be equal to another vector c. Now unit vector normal to a cross b is simply the unit vector c cap, which is c vector divided by the magnitude of vector c. The magnitude of vector c is square root of negative 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared, which upon solving gives us 2 times square root of 6, such that c cap will now be equal to negative 2i cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap divided by 2 times root of 6. Then when we further simplify it, we get 1 over square root of 6 multiplied to negative i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap. Problem number 10. We need to find the vector triple product a cross b cross c. So we have already found out the value of a cross b, which is which is negative 2i cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap. So that will be crossed with c vector, which is 2j cap plus 2k cap. So we'll use the determinant form. So we have i cap, j cap, k cap in the first row. In the second row, we have negative 2, 4, 2, which is the component of a cross b. And in the third row, we have components of c. And when we solve this, we get... 4i cap plus 4j cap minus 4k cap. And we need to find out the scalar triple product a dot b cross c. This is actually defined as the determinant, 3 by 3 determinant. In the first row we have components of a, in the second row we have components of b, and in the third row we have components of c. So let's plug in the values. So for components of a we have 2, 1, 0 in the first row. 2 to negative 2 will be the components of b placed in the second row. 0 to 2 will be the components of the vector c placed in the third row. And when we expand this determinant, we get the value 12. 